Hello everybody and welcome to this time-lapse video of the Demon Princess. A couple days ago I did a sketch of a demon girl uh, with horns and this inspired me to, to do the sculpt. I thought I did a demon prince in the past and this would be a good addition to, to that character. I also wanted to challenge myself to construct a female character from the skeleton up to see if I can achieve it. I always struggle to sculpt to draw believable female characters and I even get a little anxious before I make an attempt to start one. I don't know, I think I put a lot of stress on myself to do them justice. So yeah, I decided to brush up my approach that I did with constructing the face uh, with a skull first and this time I wanted to be a bit more detailed in the, in the blocking phases as well. And I wanted to challenge myself to create a female character from the beginning, from the ground up to, to the final character. And I think this was a really good exercise uh, to do, especially to see where I still needed to improve. Yeah, this is mainly the, the reason why I decided to go for, for this sculpting approach in the first place with the demon prints that you can see here somewhere popping up where I would test my, my knowledge of the skull and the facial muscles and then build the, the model from the ground up. And a lot of people asked why, why I go through the effort of blocking the skull in first. And this is the main reason to, to study and to really nail down the, the fundamentals of anatomy, which is the skeleton. Doing the skull over and over again is a really, really good exercise and I like to talk about that with my, with my colleagues at my university, that studying the, the human skull was one of the most important exercises for me in, in sculpting and learning how to do faces and characters because yeah, it's, it's a fundamental skill to, to be able to block in the big shapes and really define the the plane changes and the proportions and establish the, the object that you want to sculpt. And the same approach in, in blocking out the basic shapes I use for everything else just in smaller details. For example, the nose uh, where I block in the, the basic shapes first and once the proportion and the placement and everything is set, then I go into the details and refine things even more. The same with the eye. I usually start with inserting the eyeball and then filling up that area inside the eye socket with volume to cover up the sphere. And normally I would then carve out the eyelids, but this time I added the bulge over the eyelids for some reason. And it helps me to get a feeling for what I'm doing and why things have the shape that they have. I noticed in the past that I was looking at images from, from people and anatomy references. And I never really knew what I was drawing because I didn't knew what was underneath the surface. So there were shapes and bumps in the uh, skin that I just copied, but I didn't know where they originated from. And once I learned the, the underlying construction, the bones, the muscles, the uh, attachments of the muscles and where they where they wrap around and uh, overlap each other, I really learned to actually see the reference. And I started to learn what I was seeing and not just copying what I thought I was seeing, if that makes any sense. But uh, yeah, long story short, um, this approach of sculpting the, the human face seems a bit tedious, but it really helps me to brush up my knowledge of anatomy and yeah, go through everything again. And it's also a lot of fun to, to sculpt this way. You, you will notice little details and things that you never really questioned. So yeah, just give it a shot and see what you end up with. Another thing that inspires me a lot in this process is when I start to get more into drawing. And with drawing, it's way more common to construct everything before you go into the details and I think this is one of the main lessons that I got from my drawing exercises that I applied to my 3D uh, modeling that I really go into the details 
with the big shapes, if that makes sense. But I really try to get it right from every angle before I move on to the next level of detail. So the foundation is, is everything. If the foundation is right, then everything that follows uh, will be much, much better. And you can't fake the end results with nice details when the foundation is not working. So no matter how good your details are, if the foundation lacks the quality, then the result will end up looking yeah, not so great. When I approach my drawings, I really think a lot about um, what I want to draw before I put down the pencil. I used to draw with a standard pen, but I bought a fine micron pen just recently after I watched some videos of Martin Abel from Abel Art, who used one in one of his traditional drawing videos. And it was a lot of fun to, to see that, and he has some great content, so it's very inspiring. So I bought one and tried it out, and it's, it's really great. And yeah, the, the pen really forces me to make conscious decisions since I'm stuck with what I put down on the page. And I used to sculpt my 3D models, basically putting on volume and it was more a hit or miss th kind of thing. And um, I stumbled my way to the finish model. But through drawing and really nailing down the, the construction, and learning how to uh, put down conscious strokes, I learned more to do that with sculpting as well, which increased the, the speed and the quality and the appeal as well, I think. And over time, because of the repetition, you develop your own uh, style, I would say. So yeah, drawing really, really helped me a lot with 3D this hit or miss kind of sculpting um, yeah, was responsible for, uh, for most of the designs that I ended up with that you can see on my channel from my older videos but I always had some some ideas in my mind that I wanted to create in 3d and now with getting better at drawing I yeah, can can actually design characters first before I do a sculpting video or a sculpt for myself, which is a lot of fun. Yeah, I have a lot of characters in my mind and I think I'm currently breaching the, the gap between what I can imagine in my head and what I can put on paper. There was such a, a large gap between uh, what I was thinking about and what I was able to put on paper um, in the past. And I think the gap is now closing a little bit where when I have something in mind and I start to draw that it actually ends up as the similar subject. Because in the past I had an idea and then I put down the first mark on the page or made the first few brush strokes on, on the sculpt and then it would turn into something completely different because the, the sculpt itself or the drawing itself had more control over the page than than I had and yeah with enough repetition and practice and looking up great resources especially drawing references which I repeat over and over again as you might have noticed but this is really crucial for me in learning because the 2D tutorials are much faster to grasp concepts like constructing and proportions and anatomy and 2D is such, such a great tool to really nail down the fundamentals and improve with your perception and your eye-hand coordination. That's why I really like to, to follow those. And there are some great resources here on YouTube as well. Um, for example, Proko, obviously, Modern Day James or Cynics, Ahmed Alduri. Yeah, they're just a bunch of people that have really great tutorials on characters, anatomy, perspective, everything that you need to know. And yeah, just look them up and see if you find something that grasps your attention and then just follow it. This is the most important thing to, to get a tutorial and then not only get the input, but do the output as well. 
so apply what you learned because there's so many details in there that you wouldn't have noticed otherwise if you actually apply it and then you can start to ask questions and not just perceive the answers so yeah drawing exercises really helps a lot The next thing that I wanted to talk about is a little bit off topic, but I'm currently moving into another flat and uh, this means that there's a chapter coming to an end and a new one starts and this is always an exciting but also a bit unsettling time since there is so much change and yeah, I lived in my old room for six years now, so that was a long time, but yeah i'm planning to do a lot of things in the in the next time since my studies come to an end as well and i want to get more serious with putting out content and making videos because yeah, they're a lot of fun for me and i like to see the response and, and that the videos seem to help and i would like to continue that and just focus more more of my time and energy towards that. So I'm also thinking about uh, starting to stream. Um, at least I want to, to try it out for a few times and I'm planning to, to do a stream where I test out Blender, sculpting in Blender, and because I haven't tried it yet. Actually I, I did for half an hour and it seems pretty promising. So I'm really looking forward to, to test it out more and I would like to share that journey with you so in addition to that i would also like to stream traditional drawing as well as my usual sculpting in zbrush and maybe depending on the project i will do some maya stuff or blender stuff as well so yeah just trying different things out and and basically showing you uh, what i do to, to improve my art um, I'd like to know if you're interested in that, so just tell me in the comments if you want to see more of these time-lapse videos or streaming or tutorials. Um, yeah, a lot of exciting times ahead. This year seems, seems like the year of reconsidering and making plans and starting to get into new activities and doing what I wanted to do for a long time. So. I'm really excited for, for what comes next and yeah, I think that's that brings it to an end and I hope you like the end result of the Demon Princess. I, if you're interested in the rendering process, I made a tutorial about that on my channel already uh, that you can check out and if you have any questions feel free to leave them down in the comments. I try to read every comment and answer as much as I can and yeah I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you in the next video bye